Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm finally back. I haven't posted in like an entire month. Yeah, sorry about that, but I've just been pretty busy. Uh, I've gone diving a couple times, but I just haven't uh, put all the footage into a video because editing does take some time. And uh, with school starting and among other things, um, it's just been hard to find time. But uh, now that I have time, finally, I can uh, start editing some more videos for you because I do have some footage. And uh, lobster season started like three days ago as I'm filming this. So uh, we have a lot of action for y'all and uh, might as well just hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for more. All right guys, welcome back to another episode. This one's probably gonna be a shorter one and it's basically just a bunch of clips uh, from separate dives that are combined all into one. In this first one, my cousins were in town and I was wanting to take my cousin spearfishing for the first time. Uh, we just went to the sandbar and there's a bunch of little uh, pockets of reef off the sandbar that you can swim to. That's basically what we're doing right here. And it's a little sketchy because you can't see the bottom super deep over here, but a uh, beautiful day. So not too worried about any sharks or anything coming up. So once we finally get over to the destination, you can see it just slopes into uh, this just abyss. So that's a good sign um, that there's going to be a lot of fish because fish love those steep drop offs to uh, kind of like eat all the algae and plankton in the water that's drifting with the current. So the target species for today is a uh, to'au or black tail snapper. They're an invasive species here in Hawaii. So we try and get as much as we can off of the reef. And so uh, I'm just diving down, uh, just kind of looking into the abyss. And uh, over to my left, uh, I noticed that there are two black tail snapper that kind of come into frame right there. And uh, I decided to pick out the biggest one and uh, the problem with this big gun is that it's nice that it has range, but those two floppers will not sit, um, you know, closed. So they'll always be out. So I try and shoot right here, but I miss. I just go barely over him. And I'm trying to figure out a way to keep those floppers closed so I can see exactly where my point is actually pointing. Because it kind of blinds, uh, blinds my aim in some way. Reloading the gun, going back down, uh, trying to get another one of these to wow. If you're ever over at the sandbar, I do recommend spearing off these reefs because the only fish I see here that are really worth shooting are to wow, and they've kind of taken over the area. So please go in, big or small, shoot them all, just get them off the reef. And they're not the brightest too. You can see this huge school that's just like sitting there right in front of me. So they're not the brightest fish, um, especially at this reef. And, uh, so I'm just really waiting for one to give me an opportunity because I know the school is not really going anywhere. And one uh, swims over into view and I'm able to take that snapper off of the reef at least. Um, just one out of the school. And uh, these snapper are not that big to be honest, only like five inches in total I would say. So the snapper that are closer to the reef are typically smaller. But the ones that are farther away from the reef, uh, you kind of have to work a little bit more to call them in. And those will be like a foot, foot and a half long. Every snapper counts though, and uh, just do your part to take them off the reef. So I've been attempting to use a three prong to get all these snapper because they are pretty easy to get close to. And I was like, all right, might as well try the three prong. And uh, let's just say that I need to get back into this three prong action. Um, Definitely, definitely not as good as I used to be. Eventually, I found two snapper that were close enough and I lined up on the smaller or the one in the back and I was able to get him uh, just from the top. So, still got, still got it. I just need to work on it a little bit more. But um, like I said, every snapper counts and that's another one for the stringer. So that was basically all from that dive. We didn't really stay at that spot too long. And at this next spot, I brought a friend from school over. He's never been spearfishing before. So I was just kind of teaching him how to use a three prong, what to do, how to call in fish, how to look non-threatening, all the basics. And we came across a school of kole, and I was just kind of trying to show him exactly how to hunt these fish. Kole are a great beginner fish, and they're very, very tasty. So if you're a beginner, you're wanting to get some uh, nice, easy fish, then I definitely target kole. Uh, if you get a lot of them, then you've got a pretty nice meal or side dish. 
But yeah, just showing him what to do. And uh, he knocked out, I think, seven fish, seven Cole and Manini combined on this trip. So he, he's already pretty natural and uh, you'll definitely see more of him uh, on this channel in the future too. Hopefully we can get a GoPro or he can get a GoPro and film his stuff too. I know he tried sending me some of the footage, but it wasn't really working from his side. So maybe next side, I'll just hand him my GoPro and we'll see uh, all the fish that he can catch. I also shot this Pualu, but a huge eel um, actually took it into its hole and kind of shredded it. Uh, so that was a kind of bummer. Tax collector is going to collect. What can you do? Right here, I'm kind of in the shallower part of this specific reef. I've noticed a lot of snapper tend to hang out over here. And as you can see, there's a blacktail snapper or toal right there. So kind of just wait for him, do a few grunts and he comes into range and I'm able to get a nice holding shot on him right there yeah these snapper are so delicious uh most people you know invasive fish get a pretty bad rap because of the roy so most people won't eat twow just because it's uh invasive but there's nothing wrong with twow meat only roy have that high concentration of ciguatera that most people are aware of uh, really all reef fish have it so every single fish you eat has some ciguatera in it that's on the reef uh, just some more than others. So I wouldn't be too worried about eating toao. They're delicious fish. They're a snapper. You know, this is a delicacy on the mainland. So definitely, definitely give it a try. I promise you it will be worth it. So after that short trip, uh, we went to the same spot just another day. And I'm kind of just here with my dad. He's hunting some uh, uhu and pualu and really whatever will come into range. And we're both just kind of chilling on top of this coral structure finally find a school of Pualu that I'm trying to get and so uh, I'm just kind of looking down trying to look non-threatening and uh, the Pualu starts to come in range and I take a shot and at first I thought I missed him but turns out I actually hit him he was just really well camouflaged into the rock behind me. Pualu are a wonderful fish to get uh, they're super plentiful they're not that difficult and they can grow really really big so if you're wanting to provide a tasty meal um, and just kind of rack up a lot of food. Pualu is the way to go for sure. My dad also shot this nice uhu. They have to be 12 inches to keep. And uh, these fish are very, very tasty, very easy to clean. And uh, definitely I can see why people will target them. Right here, I'm diving down. Uh, I found a nice size Moana and I'm just kind of waiting for him to come into range, trying to find the school uh, just by scratching the reef, doing some typical grunting. And it comes into range right there, but I'm just waiting for a good shot. And uh, these goatfish are wonderful steamed. Uh, I wouldn't really fry them because they do tend to fall apart, but baked has come out really good. So that's definitely the way I would cook these fish. I also managed to shoot another Pualu. I didn't get it on film because I was so focused on trying to hunt the fish. Um, so I need, to, I need to get back into the swing of things when it comes to recording. And uh, We'll definitely have some more trips in the future. Those are just a few of them that I did manage to get on GoPro. As you know, it's lobster season, so we're gonna have to do some of that action soon. But in the meantime, uh, I'll catch you guys later on the next dive. So I'll about wrap it up. Uh, thanks for watching again. Subscribe if you haven't. We're gonna post some more content. Hopefully soon, I have a dolphin video coming up and uh, Maui footage as well. So if you're into that, uh, yeah, stick around and uh, hopefully we can do some more spearfishing soon. I'll see you on our next adventure. Peace.